What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, and today we are taking a look at the EB Personal Cloud for Media. We're going to review that and uh, show you what it what it is, what it does, how it works, and how easy or hard it is to set up. Hey, everybody! Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine, Think Magazine, put in a geek, and you got me. You can find me over on Geekazine.com. Uh, youtube.com forward slash geekazine go ahead like subscribe comment hit the bell notification for the next video and of course you can find me all live over on geekazine as well bell notification at geekazine.com as well now as you can see or hear my bell's palsy is back and so it's a little bit tough to actually uh speak but that's okay, you know, take it nice and slow. I'll try to enunciate for you as we're going through this review. And the review is for this right here. It's the EV, spelled I-V-I, but pronounced EV, Home Personal Cloud. So it collects your media, your photos, your videos. You can share them, the, the media. You can create groups. You can create photo albums to put it onto like TVs or other devices and do a whole bunch more. Now, before we go further, I want to let you guys know that this product was given to me to review. I got the product to keep, um, but the opinions are all of Geekazine. Nobody has editorial rights from SanDisk or EV. So if you want to check out all my policy on review, go over to geekazine.com forward slash review. And, of course, before we get into this, let's also talk about what this device does. This device will go into the cloud wirelessly to take the photos from your phone or whatever device you deem to, uh, to pull to and send it to your EV so you can share it on the cloud. I've gone through the terms of service. I've gone through the privacy policy. And I did not see anything that said that they're going to look at your photos or videos, share. But you definitely want to look at those things yourself. Go through that. If you find anything, let me know. And uh, we'll bring it up with uh, SanDisk and Eevee and find out what's going on with the product. All right, let's take a look at some of the technical specs of the EV. Uh, first of all, it's a t one terabyte drive inside of here uh, for what they said, 250,000 photos or 100 hours of video. Uh, it's pretty small. It's just about the size of uh, maybe your uh, your home personal assistant, but just don't ask it questions because it's not going to respond to you in any way. It, uh, it's basically thermal plastic and pure white. In the back, it has a USB 3.0 port and a power port. That's it. It connects up wirelessly. There's no Ethernet jack to it. It's got an ARM Cortex processor in there running 64-bit. And uh, it's got uh, one gigabyte of DDR3L RAM. So not the fastest of uh, devices, but it's meant to slowly pull the media onto this device right here. Uh, what else we got? We got uh, Wi-Fi of uh, 802.11ac on there. And of course, you connect up not only with a mobile app for iOS or Android, or also desktop access for uh, for your Windows or Mac machine. So let's take a look at this really quick. So here it is, the EV. As you can see, like I said, it's got a power cord. It's got a USB, the USB 3.0. So um, you can put in a thumb drive in here, or apparently you can connect it to a computer. That's pretty much it. it uh, in the front, we do have a status light. And if it's blinking, it means that it's not connected to the Wi-Fi. On the bottom, we have a reset button down here. Other than that, uh, to turn it on and off, you can just basically unplug it and plug it back in and you're good to go. So that could that's that's pretty straightforward on setting that up. Once you have it plugged in, it'll, it'll emit a wireless signal, which you then connect up via your wireless device, whether it be a laptop or a phone. I did my, uh, I did my phone, and uh, we'll bring this up here so you can see it from here. It connects up fairly straightforward, and no problems right there. So, uh, and once you get it, it starts uploading the files. It'll, it'll say, hey, can we access your photos? Hey, can we can access your videos? Can we upload them? It will then pass to your device. Uh, and it'll do, it actually does it in the background. I, I have uh, Dropbox as well. And I, I like how this transfers to here a lot better than I do Dropbox because it seems to do a lot faster. Of course, it's all dependent on what type of Wi-Fi signal that you have. Here it is. We have it up here in our inner circle. You can set up, uh, you can set up the ability to share, or you can have it set up for yourself. You have your photos, which uh, are right there, 
And then, of course, you have albums, which you can set up. I set up four different albums right here. And, uh, yeah, we got it all set up here where you can then turn around and share it pretty quick. I, you can do it on the desktop as well. Let's switch over to the desktop so you can see what I'm talking about. There's the desktop. Now, when you install it onto your desktop, it will put a item into the taskbar in order to get here. And because you can actually do it in two ways, you go down to your taskbar, you'll see the EV uh, connection. You'll come up here and I'll say open Explorer, open in browser. We have this open in browser, but we can also open it in, in Explorer. So in, in this case, uh, Windows, so Windows Explorer will open it up and it comes in, in a folder and you'll see it just like that. Pretty straightforward when it comes to uh, pulling your, your data off. Same thing with the Mac, it'll just open up in the Finder without a problem right now. But we're gonna use the desktop uh, app here. So we have the, we can add photos. So if I have photos from my, uh, from my computer, I can bring them in here. Uh, we have our photos, which I've already taken, as you can see right there. Um, we got our albums and we can actually create albums from there. So let's go back to photos. Let's just create a quick, uh, album here. So we take like two or three photos. There's a couple of my Bell's palsy ones. And then there's one of Scotty and, uh, we can choose up here. Up on the top, you'll see buttons that say share, add to album. You can delete them or you can download them to uh, to a different computer. Now, keep in mind, this is a nice cloud service, but don't use this as a, a primary backup system. And we'll talk about that in a minute, why I don't think that it's a great primary backup system. Have your photos on another area as well. But let's go back here. So now we've selected it. We're going to say add to album. We're going to, uh, we can choose any of these albums or we can create an album which is a button right here we're going to press that and we're going to say this is we'll just call it test and we'll hit continue we got all our photos in there and we can add a description in it if we want but we won't we'll just hit continue it's going to ask hey do you want to give us a description we'll say later and then you can add comments you can add uh likes to that or take away likes and go from there. And then I can see, sit here and go share this album. I can invite somebody to collaborate so they can add their photos. Or I can do a send link, which will just be a link that uh, you copy, you can put in tweets, you can put in emails. And what they'll do is they'll be able to view it uh, so you can they can see what you've been doing in the last couple of months, which is pretty cool. And that's basically it. Uh, you can do a lot of organization on your files and folders, your shared, you find out your shared content. Once you share that with other people, you'll see that in here. And uh, you can, and that's basically a you know, little feedback area, just in case uh, you have any questions. Uh, and of course, here it is right here. We got the Western Digital App Center Terms of Service Agreement. So you can read all that on the license agreement and uh, you can also do a copy USB. So once you put in the USB drive on the back, you can then copy that into the uh, into the EV uh, until you fill up the EV's hard drive space. Now there's a couple issues that I do want to talk about with the EV. And the first one is the fact that this is a spinning hard drive. This is not an SSD solid state drive. This is an actual hard drive in here running at 5,400 RPM. It's a slower hard drive, something you'd find in a laptop, maybe 2009, 2010. So uh, it's not gonna be the fastest of things but it's also going to be spinning. And I haven't seen or heard this downspin. It's always constantly spinning. Now, even though this makes the drive about two to three times less expensive than one with an SSD in it, the power savings over a two to three year span could actually make up for it. The drive takes up to four times longer to transfer files. And with power consumption, heat a physical drive and up to 10 times less reliability, the better solution would have been to put an SSD in there. This is the reason why I don't think you should call this your primary backup. This is a nice backup to share to other people. Make sure your photos and your video are on another area. The other thing is the MAC address is not uh, written on the EV, which you might need if your device uh, disconnects from your wireless. Uh, to set this up, you basically, there's a wireless port that you have to start with. 
and then it connects up to your wireless system. If you need to reset it, there's a little reset button down there, and you got to go through the whole process again. But without that MAC address on the bottom, it I, you have to reset it every time instead of search your wireless system to see why you, you can't get a connection. So not a big deal, but a little, you know, I, I really wanted that MAC address to be on the bottom. The bigger thing is the spinning hard drive inside here and make sure that you're backing up your photos and videos to another source as well. Other than that, I haven't seen any issues. It's been downloading my photos, downloading my videos and putting it up so I can share it out to people, uh, set up uh, shares for other people to uh, collaborate and bring in their photos. So we all have a main hub for our media. Do you have the EV? Let me know and let's talk about it. Geekazine at gmail.com. Think Magazine, put in a geek. You can find me all on the socials. And uh, of course, over on youtube.com forward slash geekazine, where you can like, subscribe, comment, bell notification for the next video and go from there. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. And uh, if you uh, will have links in the show notes. So, uh, of course, that helps me keep the lights on here and continue to get great content for you. Do you have a product that you want me to review? Let me know and we'll take a look at it and go from there. So this is the EB personal cloud for media for your photos, for your video. That's easy to set up and easy to go. That's it for this episode. Until next time, you guys geek out. We'll see you next time and always take care.